brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The pictures and videos made the rounds Wednesday. A false killer whale beached at Retidian Wildlife Refuge. Brent Tibbetts from the Department of Agriculture telling KUAM that refuge staff were able to push the whale back out to sea, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the story. Refuge staff, Anderson Air Force Marine Patrol, and Tibbetts surveyed the shores this morning to see if the whale beached itself again. So uh, between all of those surveys, we did not see any signs of the whale again this morning. Uh, so it did not strand in those areas. There's still a potential that it could restrand somewhere else on Guam or on Guam and those beaches in the next several days. So uh, we, we'd ask that if, if people do keep, it, keep an eye out for it, if they do see it, to please notify us right away. We asked Tibbetts, a fisheries biologist, why he thought this whale beached itself. It's hard to say without having a specimen hand there. Sometimes there are uh, certainly diseases that whales get. Uh, there are uh, uh, environmental causes. There are you know, human-made environmental causes. There can be, you know, in, in some instances, it's thought that maybe sonar can cause stranding, some, some things like that. But it's really, it's a, a almost impossible to tell without having specimens in hand what, what the cause is. Tibbetts also said this was the second whale stranded in as many weeks while the whale stranded at Retidian was pushed out to sea. A whale stranded in Rhoda was not so lucky. Having two in the same part of the world this close together is is a bit of interest and so uh, we're trying to see what we can find out about that as well as the whale folks at the lab in Hawaii are, are interested in that as well. We asked Tibbetts if he thought the military's use of sonar could be a factor in this whale stranding. I'm not aware of any military activity going on in the area right now so I, I that's not number one on my list you can't exclude it but it wouldn't be number one on my list but it is interest that two of these stranded within a couple weeks of each other. Tibbetts said the beached whale may have been part of a pod sighted near Factory Point in the last week. About a year ago, a beaked whale washed ashore in Agate, and Tibbetts said he's still waiting for test results to find out how that whale died. To see if it is sonar related or something like that, generally the ear bones are the most useful uh, tissue sample or, or organ sample for that and those have to be dealt with uh, pretty much there's only one person in the world who deals with those and I believe he's in Germany and uh, those were sampled but uh, we haven't gotten any results back on that yet and it can be a timely process to get those analyzed carefully and so it's not clear when we will hear results on that. We asked Tibbetts what you should do if you come across a beached whale. Please do not approach it. Uh, for one thing, whales, even though they may be weak and sick, they're very, very strong and they can still inflict a lot of damage if they do decide to react. Uh, also, whales can transmit diseases to people and so we like to make sure that nobody catches something from whales, especially if you're in contact with whale uh, body fluids in blood. He says you can also call the Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources if you see a stranded whale, the conservation hotline number 864-DAWR. You can also call 735-0281 or 89 or the Guam Police Department at 472-8911. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.